So here's a look at the uh, software that I wrote for the uh, SA818 demo. Uh, this was written for a TTGOT display. That's a nice little uh, ESP32 chip with a um, uh, SPI uh, TFT attached to it, a little 240 by 240 display. If you use these devices, you use a particular driver and you and you have to make sure the driver is set up correctly. Uh, there's a, a user setup.h file that uh, that you need to make sure you uh, go uncomment. These things are like commented and you need to uncomment one of the drivers. You need to, I believe you just need to uncomment this one. Uh, maybe maybe both of these, but I think just this one, the define, uh, define driver. Anyway, if you've ever used one of these chips, it's straightforward. We'll set up the uh, TFT and SPI. Then uh, we're gonna do all these defines. These are the hardware pins. So we have a, a two buttons. We have the backlight, which I'm not using, but I just I always make sure I document it so you don't use pin 17. It's the backlight for the LCD. You actually can go control it. You can turn it on and off. And uh, there's a serial port and push to talk pin. All right. So the SA818 uh, is capable of 400 to 480 uh, megahertz. So we're going to need to... Uh, define some frequencies that we want to use, and I'm going to create some um, arrays. Um, I'm going to create an array with all of the frequencies in it. So this uh, this one here has all the frequencies I'm going to be interested in. And uh, you count these, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you make sure that uh, you change this uh, channel count number six to match how many you have entered here. And then there's also an array that has all the names of those channels. So I've got one channel called MSI, and then I've got a bunch of FRS uh, frequencies in there, channel one, two, three, four, five. Uh, you can set an initial volume to set to. And um, there's going to be an index that keeps track of which channel you go to. So as you change channels, you update the variable channel. We need to turn on the serial port. Uh, we're gonna use 9600. And uh, then we need to initialize all the pins, uh, the uh, buttons, and the push to talk. And we need to set the push to talk to high as an initial state. That means it's in receive mode. Okay, and then we need to set up the display. So this is setting up the display. And then we're going to start into uh, first trying to talk to the part. So we're going to do a splash screen, uh, and then we're going to do our first conversation to the 818. So we're going to first send this command here. Uh, we're going to try to connect, uh, DMO connect, and if it returns a colon zero, then you know that's good. So we'll do a, we'll do a serial readback. And then we're just going to try a couple things just to make it sure it works. We're going to get the version number, um, and then we're going to do a... Uh, uh, a set a set group. Uh, let's see here, group. Okay, and then uh, we call a function called set frequency, and let's go take a look at that right now. Uh, set frequency is right here. It's going to take. Um, it's going to use the command dmo set group. And it's gonna it's gonna set the bandwidth, the squelch, uh, the tones, and the frequencies. So everything else stays always the same, except for the frequencies we're gonna change. So we're gonna we're gonna put in here our array frequency and channels. Whatever channel number we have set to, it'll use that frequency, and it'll set both transmit and receive to that same frequency. Okay, that's what set frequency does. And we go back up to here. Uh, we'll read it, make sure we get a, a colon zero. And then we're going to do set volume, make sure we get a colon zero. And then we're going to do a um, clear the screen. And now we're ready. So we're kind of all initialized. Here's the main loop. Um, and the main loop is going to be waiting for button presses. Uh, if button zero, so that's the bottom button. And if button one. Uh, which is the top button. So um, it just waits for those two buttons, goes round and round and round. If you hit the bottom button, it says, oh, you want to transmit. So it's going to uh, change the background of the uh, TFT to red to indicate that you're transmitting. 
it's going to um, display the channel you're transmitting on, and it's going to set the push to talk to low. Okay, and that will that will turn the transmitter on. And then we're just going to sit right here until we let up on the button. So we're just going to go around and around and around here until the button finally lets go. And then we'll put it back into receive mode, uh, blank the screen, and, and go on our merry way. Go around and around and around. If we hit the top button here, uh, we are going to increment the channel. We'll go to the next channel. If we go off the top, uh, we go back to zero. So that, makes, that lets you go around and around and around. And then we will set the frequency to the new channel that we've set. And that's it. That's all there is to this whole program. Um, there was a lot of things I was doing over and over again. This display channel function. Uh, display channel just uh, sets you the home position, uh, and then it, it it just writes down whatever what it, what was the frequency and what is the name of the channel. Right. So here's the frequency of the channel. Here's the name of the channel, and it just gives a little thing. So it's an SA eight one eight transceiver. Um, so anyway, there you go. I'll uh, post this in my GitHub site. But uh, it's quite simple. And um, really, you have to make sure you cur you choose the correct pins. Initially, I was using something like 36 and 37, and those were already taken. I didn't know that. So you have to find free, free pins. 32 and 33 work just fine. And you can just use my pins. Uh, these are all available pins. Um, like if you tried to use pin 35, that's already taken up by the button, right? That's hardwired on the board, so you really can't change that. But anyway, uh, that's my code.